continuation of unit 6 fractions page number 67 so we'll do the first question now that is convert the following mixed numbers into improper fractions so before we continue this answer we have come across a new term called mixed numbers mixed numbers so before we uh, solve this answer let us first understand what this term means mixed numbers are a combination of a whole number and a fraction for example 5 1 by 4 5 1 by 4 you see here it is a combination of a whole number and a fraction together so this all together is known as a mixed number you see here it is a whole number and numerator and denominator so this all together is known as a mixed number so what we are supposed to do here we have to convert the following the mixed numbers into improper fractions so the questions will all be in a mixed number format what we have to do we have to convert change them into improper fractions let us solve some questions from question number one the first one 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 by four this is the question so, so this question is in a mixed fraction or a mixed number so now we have to convert it, change it into improper fraction. So now we have to change this mixed number into an improper fraction or improper number. So here we have one step here. The answers which I give in the PDF might be slightly different than my explanation here. So it's up to you to follow whichever step you like according to your own convenience. So, one, one by four. So how to convert it into improper fraction? I'll try to form one uh, logic for you. That is denominator into whole number plus one. Sorry, plus the numerator. That is denominator into whole number plus numerator. Or you can write whole number. You can write uh, either the blue first or the second, that's up to you. Okay. Next, divide it by the denominator again. Put the bracket again. I hope you are clear with this one. There is no complications here, you just have to frame it this way so that it will be easy for you to convert it. Look here. Numerator, denominator, and a whole number together is known as a mixed number. So we have to uh, I'll say separate it now. Look here. Denominator into whole number plus numerator divided by denominator. So now we have to fill in the values here. Denominator is 4. Into comes down. Whole number is 1. Close the bracket. Plus comes down. Numerator is also 1. Divide it by 4 equals to now first solve the numbers in the bracket 4 1 times 4 this plus comes down 1 comes down divided by 4 I don't have space here so I'll write it out equal to look here 4 plus 1 is 5 then 4 is down down. This is a fraction in an improper form. Why? Because the numerator is greater than the denominator. This is how we convert or change a mixed number into an improper fraction. This is the logic here. The answers may be slightly different, but you can do in your own understanding as you practice at home. Now, next one. I'll do question number seven. So question number 7 is 5, 7 by 12 Here also same thing Just write denominator 
enter into whole number close the bracket plus numerator divided by the denominator denominator into denominator into whole number plus numerator divided by the denominator again we just change the values now we have 12 as the denominator we have 5 as a whole number plus the bracket plus n here in written we have 7 now denominator is 12 so we all know the table of 12 yes no 12 5 times are 60 this plus comes down this 7 comes down and this 12 will be in the same place I hope you are clear with this step next step will be 60 plus 7 is 67 67 by 12 this is an improper fraction why? because the numerator is greater than the denominator so we have successfully converted a mixed number into an improper fraction let us do question number 2 now that is convert the following improper fractions into mixed number now we have to do the opposite in the first question we have converted a mixed fraction or a mixed number into an improper fraction or improper number now we have to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number in question number 2 let us solve question number 1 now We'll do the same step. 
and just go to the rough column, divide 105 by 11. Same way we'll do, simple division, that is 105 by 11. See, now we choose a number which is less than 105 in the table of 11. So let's take 8. 11 is an 88 which is too less. Take something which is close to the dividend but less than the dividend, not more than that. So 11 nines are 99. 11 10 times become 110 which is more than the dividend. So we'll take 9. 11 9 times are 99. So 105 minus 99 is 6. How? 100. 101, 102, 3, 4, 5. We have 6, yes or no? So 6. So, uh, portion we have 9, divisor we have 11, and 6 as a remainder. Same way you write portion, remainder by divisor. That's equal to, we have uh, 9 as the portion, we have 6 as the remainder, and we have uh, 11 as the divisor. That's all. It's simple. Sorry. Uh, 11. Eh? Yes. So we have uh, 9 as the quotient. Then we have uh, 6 as the remainder. And 11 as the divisor. This is how we change an uh, improper fraction into a mixed fraction or a mixed number. Next question. <coughs> that is, group the following as proper fractions, improper fractions and mixed number. So now we have to arrange the given fractions into a proper, improper and mixed number. Before we solve the answer, let me first write all the fractions on the board so that it will be clear to you to understand. Yeah, 